The Ernst Hoppel Stadion in Vienna was buzzing with anticipation. The air was electric, filled with the hopes and dreams of thousands of fans who had gathered to witness a thrilling encounter. The stadium, a historic venue known for hosting some of the most memorable matches in football history, was alive with energy. Flags waved, chants echoed, and the excitement was palpable. Austria, the group stage darlings, were facing a tough Turkish side. The Austrians had impressed everyone with their fluid play and solid defense, but they knew this match would be a different challenge altogether. Turkey, with their aggressive style and never-say-die attitude, were ready to give it their all. The stage was set for an epic battle. No one could have predicted how quickly the game would explode into life. The opening moments were tense, with both teams trying to find their rhythm. But then, in a flash, everything changed. The crowd was still settling into their seats when the first dramatic moment unfolded. Just 58 seconds were on the clock when Sengiz under whipped in a dangerous corner. The Austrian defense hesitated. It was a perfectly executed set piece, the kind that under had practiced countless times. The ball curved beautifully, heading straight into the heart of the Austrian penalty area. Mary Demerol, the Turkish center back, rose highest. His timing was impeccable and his leap was powerful. The Austrian defenders could only watch as Demerol soared above them, his eyes fixed firmly on the ball. It was a moment of pure athleticism and determination. His powerful header left the Austrian goalkeeper with no chance. 1-0 Turkey. The ball rocketed into the back of the net and the Turkish players erupted in celebration. It was a dream start, the kind that every team hopes for but few achieve. The Austrian goalkeeper, despite his best efforts, was left rooted to the spot. The Turkish fans erupted in joy. What a start! The stands were a sea of red and white with fans hugging, cheering and waving their flags. It was a moment of pure euphoria, a testament to the passion and dedication of the Turkish supporters. They had traveled far and wide to support their team and their faith was being rewarded in the most spectacular fashion. On the sidelines, the Turkish coach was a picture of intense emotion. His fists pumped the air and his face was a mix of joy and determination. He knew that this early goal was crucial, but he also knew that the game was far from over. There was still a long way to go and he urged his players to stay focused and keep pushing. The Austrian players, meanwhile, were regrouping. They knew they had been caught off guard but they were determined to fight back. Their coach was giving them instructions, urging them to stay calm and stick to their game plan. The early goal was a setback, but it was not the end. They had the talent and the resilience to turn things around. The crowd, a mix of Turkish and Austrian supporters, was a sight to behold. The Turkish fans were jubilant, their cheers echoing around the stadium. The Austrian fans, though momentarily silenced, were not giving up. They continued to cheer for their team, their voices rising in unison, urging their players to respond. As the game continued, the intensity only increased. Both teams were giving it their all, and the fans were loving every moment. The scoreboard showed 1-0 in favor of Turkey, but everyone knew that this was just the beginning. There was still a lot of football to be played, and anything could happen. For the young Turkish fans in the crowd, this was a moment they would never forget. They watched with wide eyes, their hearts filled with hope and excitement. This was more than just a game, it was a dream come true. Austria, stunned by the early goal, tried to regain their composure. The early strike had left them reeling, and the players were visibly shaken. The coach on the sidelines was urging his team to stay focused, but the shock was evident in their eyes. They knew they had to regroup quickly if they wanted to stay in the game. They pushed forward, seeking an equalizer. The Austrian team, known for their resilience, began to mount a series of aggressive attacks. Their forwards were relentless, weaving through the Turkish defense with determination. Every pass, every shot was an attempt to break through and level the score. The crowd could feel the tension rising with each near miss. But Turkey, organized and disciplined, defended resolutely. The Turkish defenders were a wall, blocking every attempt with precision. Their coordination was impeccable and their resolve unbreakable. Each defensive play was met with cheers from the Turkish fans, who could sense their team's determination to hold on to the lead. Then, on the hour mark, it happened again. The tension in the stadium was palpable as the clock ticked towards the 60th minute. The Turkish team had been waiting for their moment and it came with a dramatic flare. Another set piece, another Demerol header. The crowd erupted as Demerol rose above the defenders, his timing impeccable. The ball met his head with a thundering force and the net bulged once more. 
It was a moment of pure brilliance, a testament to his skill and determination. This time, Hulkan Kalanoglu delivered a pinpoint free kick. Demerol, again, was unstoppable. 2-0 Turkey. The precision of Kalanoglu's delivery was matched only by Demerol's execution. The Turkish players celebrated wildly, knowing they had taken a significant step towards victory. The fans in the stands were on their feet, chanting and waving flags in jubilation. The Turkish fans could scarcely believe their eyes. Their team was not just holding on, but dominating. The atmosphere in the stadium was electric, with fans singing and dancing in the aisles. It was a night to remember, a performance that would be talked about for years to come. Their team, often characterized by late drama, was cruising. The Turkish players, usually known for their last-minute heroics, were in control from the start. They played with a confidence and composure that left their opponents scrambling. As the final whistle approached, it was clear that this was Turkey's night, a night when Demerol doubled down and led his team to a memorable victory. Austria, their Euro 2024 dreams fading through everything forward. They finally found a way through in the 78th minute. Michael Grigorich, the experienced striker, latched onto a loose ball in the box. His shot found the back of the net. 2-1. Could Austria complete the comeback? The final minutes were tense. Turkey, defending deep, had to withstand wave after wave of Austrian attacks. The group stages had painted contrasting pictures for both teams. Austria, playing with swagger and confidence, had topped their group. Turkey, on the other hand, had scraped through as runners-up to Portugal. Many had written them off. But knockout football is a different beast. Turkey, battle-hardened and resilient, had found another gear. Section 5, A Tale of Two Halves. The first half belonged to Turkey. They were disciplined, compact, and clinical on the counterattack. The second half was a different story. Austria, fueled by desperation, dominated possession and created chances. Turkey, however, held firm. Their defensive resilience, epitomized by Demerol's heroic performance, saw them through. Section 6, The Rise of Turkish Defense. Turkey's defensive strength has been a hallmark of their Euro 2024 campaign. The centre-back pairing of Demerol and Kagla Soyunku has been rock solid. Their full-backs, Zeki Selik and Umut Meres, have provided energy and attacking impetus. This defensive solidity has given the whole team a platform for success. Section 7, A Star is Born, Mary Demerol. Mary Demerol's performance against Austria was the stuff of legend. Two goals, countless clearances and a defensive masterclass. The 25-year-old Atalanta defender has emerged as a leader at the heart of the Turkish defense. His strength, aerial prowess and composure on the ball have been crucial to Turkey's success. Section 8, the Austrian challenge. Austria, despite the loss, can hold their heads high. They played with heart and determination. David Alaba, their talismanic captain, led by example. Marcel Sabitzer and Xaver Schlager controlled the midfield for large periods. Ultimately, however, they were undone by a moment of magic from Demerol and a resilient Turkish defense. Section 9, looking ahead, the Dutch hurdle. Turkey's reward for their victory is a quarter-final clash with the Netherlands. The Dutch, having overcome Croatia in their round of 16 match, will be formidable opponents. They possess attacking flair in abundance, led by the likes of Memphis Depay and Cody Gakpo. Turkey, however, will be confident. They have shown that they can compete with the best. Section 10, a night for Turkish delight. The final whistle sparked scenes of wild celebration among the Turkish players and fans. This was a famous victory, one that will live long in the memory. Turkey, written off by many before the tournament, had announced themselves on the European stage. Section 11, Echoes of 2008. For Turkish fans of a certain generation, this victory evoked memories of their team's run to the semi-finals of Euro 2008. It was a time when the nation was gripped by football fever and the streets were filled with jubilant supporters. The 2008 squad, led by the charismatic Fatih Terim, showcased a blend of youthful exuberance and experienced campaigners. Their journey was nothing short of a roller coaster, filled with dramatic comebacks and last minute goals that left fans on the edge of their seats. That tournament, held in Austria and Switzerland, saw Turkey capture the hearts of neutrals with their attacking flair and never-say-die spirit. Their matches were a testament to their resilience and determination. Who could forget the thrilling quarter-final against Croatia, where Turkey equalized in the dying seconds of extra time and then triumphed in the penalty shootout? or the semi-final against Germany where they fought valiantly despite being plagued by injuries and suspensions. 
These moments are etched in the memories of fans and serve as a reminder of what Turkish football is capable of. Could history be about to repeat itself? Only time will tell. The current squad, under the guidance of a new generation of coaches, has shown glimpses of brilliance. They have the talent, the passion, and the support of a nation behind them. But football is unpredictable and the journey to glory is fraught with challenges. The echoes of 2008 serve as both an inspiration and a reminder of the heights that can be reached with determination and belief. One thing is for sure, this Turkish team is not going to go down without a fight. They have already shown their mettle in the qualifiers, overcoming formidable opponents and proving that they belong on the big stage. The spirit of 2008 lives on in this team, and as they step onto the pitch, they carry with them the hopes and dreams of millions. The road ahead is long and arduous, but with every match, they have the chance to create new memories and write their own chapter in the annals of Turkish football history.